Is this real loud? Jacqueline. Hello? Do you have an emergency? Hello? Um, can you come pick up my sister? I'm dead. Sweetie, I don't know what the I'm looking. I just know this is going to die if you don't come up. Well, I got to know where you're going to me right now. Wake the up. Wake up. Bro, ain't, ain't no way you saying this to your sister who is right now passing away as we speak. As you're on the phone, she's passing away. It's no way you're, you're calling her the B word or even like, come on, bro. Be respectful. Okay, listen to me. I need to know what you see around you so that way I can send someone out to help you. So with your... All right, go ahead. What do you see? Instead of oh, no, some the up. surroundings as requested, Abulia hung up. In a situation like this, the operator was likely aware that the seconds it took to redial could have been the difference between life and death. Hello? Ma'am, did you just call 911 about an accident? Where? What do you mean, where? Yeah, come over here. My sister's dying. Please come over here. I'm in the middle of bus. Finally, they had at least a little bit of a clue as to where to look for Abdulia, but she didn't seem inclined to provide additional information. Where are you? I don't care where I'm at. Well, then how do you expect me to find you? I don't know. I don't care where I'm at. You should know how the to find me. Thankfully, witnesses. You watch too many movies. You think they could track you? And they can though. They sure can. Cause if you call the police from anywhere, they can locate where the call came from. Oh, Bree to join the chat. What up, Bree? What up? What? What are you been at? Calling hey, yo, trip. One and provided much more helpful directions. Okay, what is going on? Is it a car accident? Uh, yeah, this is a car uh, overturned. It's overturned. Yes, yeah. okay. yeah, it's over here on um, Henry Miller Road. He ran off the road, went through a fence, and rolled. And one person has a uh, whole whole. Head of their head is opened. Okay. You can see, uh, I don't think he did. Bystanders waved over first responders as they approached, enabling them to identify the scene in record time. The carnage they were about to see would likely stay with them for the rest of their lives. Are they both over there? You already said you killed her. Yeah, you definitely going to jail. Now, I didn't see the crocky. The crocky. Yeah, I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it in a second. Time. I seen when you signed that. I was like, what? A crocodile. Oh, Her birthday tomorrow, and you killed her before her birthday? You killed her before her birthday, bro. You could, you got forever to live with that. I feel bad for you. And you drunk right now, so you probably don't even realize what's going on. But it's really, you really, you really just messed up your whole life. And you messed up her whole life, bro. And how old she was turning? Anyway, that's still wrong. She looked young. Chat. She talking about the vitals. If I didn't read the what happened right correctly, if I didn't read what happened correctly, I'm not trying to be extra or nothing. But they say her whole brain was cracked open. How? Why is they checking the vitals? Like, bro, bro. The doctors do the job. Believe it or not, this chaos was only the beginning of what police would have to deal with. Along with Abdulia and Jacqueline, Jacqueline's girlfriend Manuela had also been in the vehicle at the time of the crash. Why her? Why not me? 
Is he trying to escape? Yeah, why is he still trying to fight? She really fighting. We're gonna try to help you, but you're not helping your cause, okay? Abdulia's suspected intoxication was just one piece of the dreadful puzzle police were working with. I'm hella drunk. I must have just fell out the back window. <laughs> there were far more spying. <laughs> the suspicion of being drunk. She just admitted she was drunk. You talk about suspicious. No, it's she, she drunk. We we she just explained it to us. Revelations to come. Are they tight? Are they tight up on you? I'll lose them if you need to. Wanna sit up so you're not laying on it. Sit up. Yeah, I'm gonna help you sit up. What is wrong with you? She's just f dying and you can't f help her. There's no f ambulance to get her f out of. She can't even go to ICU. She can't even f go to ICU because she's f dead. She's a f contact. You, you is green or you is like, bro, the dr bro, drinking needs not, she not to need to drink no more because what is going on? Is you being real life serious? Your sister just died. You talking about she's a body bag. She's a toe tag. Oh my gosh. She's dead. I might got worried about my parents. My parents going to kill me. Shardy, you finna go to jail for life. Like not even life, but some stuff. You feel me? Your sister just fell off the back of your car. Why you were drunk? And how did she fall off the back? How did she fall off the back of your car? If your car not even is a pickup truck or something like that, it's just a regular car. So was she hanging out the window? But I don't know what's going on. There's just too many questions to this shit. I don't. I don't know. Why did she want to fight? Your sister dead. Have you ever had a sister die? No, you've never had a sister die. So why the f I can't go f say goodbye? Stop, you need to relax. I can't say goodbye. I'm not gonna hurt her. I'm in f cops and I can't say goodbye. What is wrong with you? You already killed her, bro. Jacqueline, however, had sustained massive head trauma and was already deceased. Dang. Hold on, let's look at the car, though. When, however, I, think I, I think I can analyze the, what happened from in the car. Jacqueline. Okay. However, had sustained. I don't know what the. I don't know what happened. It's like. It's like. Did the car flip? I don't know what happened, bro. The car flipped because how did the top get crushed? In a massive head trauma and was already deceased. EMS soon arrived and took. Yo, Bree. To we on the same time. She was later determined to be okay. With Jacqueline beyond help, Abdulio was the only. Yeah, already talk about CEI. I, I see you. Lisa's questions. What happened? The what happened? We were driving and that swerved off the road, bruh. That's you what we swerved off the road. No, we swerved off the road. My car's been up for the last couple months. At least part of this statement was accurate. After conducting a scene reconstruction, police established that the car had indeed swerved off the road before rolling at least twice as it entered the field. I knew it real. Jacqueline had been ejected from the vehicle as it rolled. However, the crash was not caused by a mechanical issue with the car. The true reason for the tragedy was more outrageous than anyone could have imagined. Yeah, you're right, uh, Tishy. Down. It would have been nearly impossible for her to be thrown from the vehicle if she'd been. Yeah, if she was wearing a seatbelt, belt, she would be good. Maria, who was wearing her seatbelt was uninjured. How are you wearing the seatbelt and you didn't tell the person in the back to wear the seatbelt? If I see my man's locking up on the seatbelt, I'm locking up on my seatbelt. You feel me? I should be, you should, bro. Lock up anyway, regardless of what. What are you talking about, bro? Slam her ass.
The officers managed to get Abdulia moving towards the ambulance. Okay, if you, if you know she's not gonna come back, why are you telling them to do a auto, auto? Like, why are you telling them to check her vitals if you know she's not coming back? You drunk. Blunt's waiting for her, but as they attempted to guide her past yeah, Jackie, smart, a smart she collapsed once more. When officers attempted to administer a breathalyzer test, Abdulia became violent and refused to comply. She was eventually restrained in the ambulance after she kicked an EMT in the face. Damn. However, Abdulia's suspected intoxication paled in comparison to what police found when they looked at her social media. They found some harrowing footage taken just that morning as Abdulia and Jacqueline made their way to Fresno. You got one hand in that bit. Crash, Jacqueline can be heard telling Abdulia, you're going to kill me. Almost immediately after the crash, she started an Instagram live stream, which spared none of the gory details. It's no way, bro. It's no way you really recorded the body on live stream. And to all your people, I don't care if it's five people. I don't care if it's six. I don't care if it's seven or eight. I don't even care if it's one person. You really showed your dead sister that you did on live? Yeah, you cook. Put her in a, put her in a pot and call her a stew. She cook. Like, she's cooked, bro. She's cooked. After she's sober up, she's still gonna be cooked. If I go to jail for life, you already know why, Abdulia told her followers. My sister is dying. She then recorded her sister's mangled body for all to see, going so far as to zoom in on her head injury. Jacqueline was obviously deceased, but Abdulia proceeded to shake and roll her body in the grass, calling her name and begging her to wake up. And call that B-word too. She said, I love my sister to death. I don't give a this is the last thing I wanted to happen to us, but it just did. Even though the footage was later removed from social media, that didn't prevent it from being reposted and going viral. It was a sad part it. of Abdulia's trial, along with hospital records that proved her blood alcohol content had been 0 .106, well over the legal limit. Additional details about Abdulia's troubled past were also revealed, including the fact that she had reportedly been a victim of human trafficking and spent the past two years in a group home. In February 2018, Abdulia pleaded no contest to the felony charges of driving under the influence, gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated, and child endangerment. She was sentenced to six years in prison, but was released early on parole on September 21st, 2018. If one thought that the many charges against her were the end to this grim story. Yeah, but that shit would really, well, what? six years and then you get off early for killing your sister and put it on instagram nah bro you get you get five years for having a pistol you feel me but she gonna get like come on she somebody died it was only the beginning of several others only 26 days later she was in trouble with the police again oh yeah she's a menace a regular traffic stop became a car chase Police alleged that Abdulia was a felon in possession of a firearm, resisted arrest, and became violent towards officers. In 2022, Abdulia's social media accounts became active again, indicating the picture looked decent. that she was once again released from custody. On Instagram, she revealed to her followers that she had Jacqueline's name tattooed across her chest. Interestingly, it appears that everything on her account prior to the accident has been deleted. However, some of Abdulia's posts appear to have been saved and re-uploaded. This selfie of Abdulia in her car was captioned. Don't get in the car with me ever in your life. <laughs> More of Abdulia's posts revealed that Fact, while she's likely glad to be out of prison, she might not like some of the attention she's been getting. One of her posts read, People really be following you just to keep tabs on you. Just watching 24-7. While another post read, all these weirdos on my page want to run mouth about my DUI, hop in my DMs, and drop a pin. On a different note, she added the comment, got you, babe. You're not on, you're not on BS. Like, if I drop my pin, you're not pulling up. Because nigga already got shot in the around here, bro. <laughs> to this meme reading, when she fresh out of prison and makes dinner for you. She also added the comment, love, to this picture of a t-shirt reading, free Abdulia Sanchez. Abdulia also posted this image of Jacqueline trying on what might be the quinceanera dress she never got to wear, and mentioned memorializing her sister for Dia de los Muertos. She followed up with this picture of her sister's grave, 
decorated for the Okay, it sounded like bro, it sounded like when she was drunk, right? That's the only time that she really acted up out of character. She just need to stay out the motherfucking drinking and shit. If it's gonna have her like that, I mean it's over with now though. Cause of the simple fact she's not coming back to the caption. Rest easy until we meet again. She also talked about making special plans for her sister's birthday that year and shared this photo of Jacqueline beside a lake with the hashtag long live Jackie. Being the fact that you, yeah, I, I don't want to say, I want to, I want to put like negative, but being on the fact that you, that she died on your watch, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that, you know? I don't know if I even should feel something about that. You feel me? That's who, she should have.